So Core ISD is considering different ways to cut costs to address a potentially larger budget deficit next school year. Most notably, to raise employee health insurance, give no raises, and to reduce the minimum wage for new employees. I'm, I'm talking real world, not market value. When will people just stop and say, you know what, it's not worth it, $11 an hour when I can, uh, there's places out there that pay the 15 District officials said the recommendations could save the district over $10 million. But teachers say it would be a huge blow for them and other school staff, especially those close to retirement. When they are choosing not to do a pay step increase for employees, it's going to affect not only their current income, the current uh, increase on the health insurance, but then it's also going to negatively hurt their retirement for the calculation of the retirement pay. Those concerns shared by parents. They deserve the increase of the salaries per year. The teachers, they are always there helping us a lot. They are always there. They are always trying to help us. They are always giving a good advices. Perez saying teachers are already concerned. The district is pushing a rhetoric that they are to blame for the budget shortfall. My members from the campuses that have already been visited, the message that was coming to them that was being perceived by them was, um, it was a negative message saying that it was your fault because we gave you all employees raises. Now we are in this budget deficit. Perez says she educates her union members that many districts across the state are facing similar issues due to the lack of additional funding from the state, but says time is being wasted blaming each other when they should instead be working together to address these issues. Reporting from Far East El Paso, Jesus Baltasar, KTSM 9 News.